Adventure Off-Road X. And we are out in Oregon. We are at the PNW Pacific Northwest Expo here in Redmond, Oregon. It's packed. So we got in last night about 5.30. So we had to be in here by 6. And filled up pretty fast. And there's supposed to be a lot more campers coming today. So they kind of kind of packed in pretty tight. Still got enough room to have my awning out and everything, but so we're gonna get in the show. Today is gonna be a cool day, so I'm going over to the Earth Cruiser booth. I'm gonna go drive one of them big things. Those big beasts. So that's gonna be a cool day. So we're starting the day off like that. So I'm gonna get in here see a couple vendors and then go straight over there by nine. So stick around, it's gonna be a good event. See ya. Are you YouTubing this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Say hi. So these are the campers that I was seeing yesterday, made by four wheel campers. Saw uh, one out there yesterday and that was pretty cool. It's just a whole camper top. Just fits right in the back. And it's really cool. Go over here and check this thing out. So this is on a full size, but I saw it on a Tundra yesterday, or a uh, Tacoma. Seem like they're pretty cool. Seem like they're well built. So, could be an option in the future. Who knows? All right, guys, so I just got out here to the Earth Cruiser uh, trail that we're gonna be going on with these monster tanks. And uh, we're gonna have a little fun today. So stay tuned, it's gonna be fun. This is their F-350 setup, and it is pretty damn sweet. Check that up here. This whole roof line here goes up and down, but you got your, your cooktop here, sink, control panel. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Oh, and this right here, this is the shower. So, I've talked to the wife about this one. It'd be a cool rig to just go out and do a month trip. A little more comfortable than uh, the old Gladiator. 
but a little bit more expensive than the Glide here too. So, <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be fun. So we get to drive one of the big ones. Um, this is it's gonna be it's gonna be really fun. So stay tuned. What's going on, guys? So we are in one of these monsters. I'm here with Steven, and and we're getting after it. This thing is uh, this thing's a tank. So it's gonna be a pretty fun fun little trip. I got like a little I guess a little circle little obstacle yeah. course. Yeah. But check this out. So they found this little uh, obstacle course. It's, uh, it's actually set up, I guess, for the uh, the military comes out here and does does some stuff. But they found this on a whim and uh, actually worked out really well. Little hill climbs, and pretty nice. I'm really surprised how this thing handles. Yeah, I mean it's. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's bumpy. But, it's not, but for, like for, a for, for, for sure. what it is, yeah. you would think that you would, you know, be all over the place. But uh -huh. this thing, the suspension on here is really nice. Yeah, and this is our stiffer suspension too. We used to offer like really soft uh -huh. suspension, but it would tire out pretty quickly. So we would be replacing these springs after you know, the first 70,000 miles on trucks. Mm -hmm. um, so we, anything that we replace now is with these kind of more heavy duty, the original springs on the older trucks were vets, uh, which are great. They're really, really soft right out of the gate, but they just kind of tire over time. But now we use Deaver springs and mm -hmm. then cross between Deavers and Alcan springs okay. as well. Uh, but yeah, and then uh, obviously updated to the ride flow suspension as well. Ride flow has some really good stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're going to start putting their overland um, kind of demo, which is on the which should be in their booth. I'm not sure if they're here. Yeah, so I talked to them earlier, yeah. and uh, they were talking about how they're switching switching you guys over yep. to those. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're specifically made for, you know, overland and, yeah. and for yeah, your rigs. They're like on the fly adjustable kind of thing. Mm -hmm. They can switch to a stiffer suspension for like highway driving and then a softer suspension for off-road use, but yeah. Super awesome products. That definitely like um, makes or breaks the ride on some of these trucks. Oh yeah, absolutely. But well, these are, and then you said you had F three fifty brakes. I think so. Yeah. yeah. So I think they're all. It's you know it's four wheel disc mm -hmm. on the new trucks. Our diesels are. So the diesels came stock with four wheel drive. Uh, that's where it was. You know back in the day. Everybody's asking, like, why did the price point change so much from mm -hmm. the diesel to the gas? And it's because we don't have to do a four wheel drive suspension swap into it, or four wheel mm -hmm. drive system swap. And uh, so the diesels kind of came stock with everything, which is all we had to do is specialize in building the house. Now we're specialized in doing the suspension and drivetrain components as well. Nice. Has this independent suspension as well, or? Nope. No? Yeah, front and rear solid axles. Okay. Um, same with the uh, Terra Nova. Nice. F350, I think it's the first one that is offered with <clears throat> solid axles in the front. Well, definitely, if you haven't, uh, you haven't looked these guys up, <laughs> they've got some really, really cool stuff. Um, they don't just build what I'm in, they also build, like I was showing you earlier, uh, the F on the F350 chassis also I didn't know that they did them on the Rams as well so that's really cool um, gas and diesel gas and diesel so you know again it's kind of a you know what what you're looking for they can make it happen for you and then if you're if you're not happy with that and you want to kind of do your own DIY they also offer uh, basically a, 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 a build out chassis mm -hmm. and then you put your own home on it so that one's called a core. Yeah, core. So there's uh, there's all kinds of options, and that option is actually really cool because it does come with LS7. Yeah, yeah. So it's I think it's like like the newest GM LS nice. engine that's in it. It's like the 7000 or something. So yeah, so that's that's really cool. Yeah. Um, and then they also have a DIY house <laughs> uh, that I was showing the other day. So. 
that's really cool too. You can kind of build it out the way you want it, put the windows where you want it. And, you know, it's just kind of a, a, a shell with a door. Uh, you kind of basically just make it your own. But either way, it's really cool. And what they're doing here is is they got some really quality stuff. Uh, they were just showing me their their wiring up for their uh, all their their full system and you know the solar and everything else and and it's it's incredible i mean you can run run the ac and yeah. everything <laughs> you know where i mean you just you stay off grid you know all you need is food and some some gas yeah, yeah if you're good at it you can get up to a month or so completely off grid no hookups or anything just running off of solar and as long That's as you're insane. good with your gas and water wow and you can pull water too from streams and it's filtered and everything mm -hmm. so you have that access and ability and then the solar will bring in about anywhere from 60 to 80 amps per hour for charging which is more than enough to charge those house batteries and then we also have an emergency parallel uh -huh. um, so if you kill the cab battery um, you can just flip an emergency parallel to basically take your house batteries and charge your cab battery so if this cab battery ever dies and you just stranded you can just hook up to the house batteries and pull out oh wow yeah so we had one one owner his battery just completely died it wouldn't even charge so he just basically just drove it home with the house batteries on huh. hey oh i just realized we're in high <laughs> Guys, the, the the camera <laughs> does not do that that hill climb justice. I mean, it's a it's a pretty decent climb. So, and like I said before, what we're in is it's not a small vehicle. Guys, I gotta say, man, this this uh, the drivability on this, for being as big as it is, you would think it would be a, a much harder, much harder thing, but it, it really isn't at all. Like this thing, this thing drives like, I mean, great for, for what it is, um, and it takes and it takes that hill and down the hill with with no problems. And like I said, the the video probably won't do it justice, but that, that was a that was a nice incline, uh, either way. So, 
but we're uh, still getting after it out here on the trail. Just driving it out here and testing it out. But I'm 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 truly impressed. Like I, I thought that this thing was just gonna be a, just a sluggish, you know, tank. But it, it's not. It's a tank, but it's not sluggish. <laughs> But I really appreciate the opportunity to be out here and, and, and get this done and have fun. So, can't wait to uh, see what else they have coming out with. Uh, they got a secret project that they they have hidden behind the curtains. So if you hadn't had a chance, uh, go to their website, earthcruises.com, and check it out. It's just a, uh, just a small, I guess a, a teaser. Yeah, definitely a teaser. No question as to who we're doing it with. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, check them out. Like I said, they build everything here and they're 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 built tough. So nice components. Alright guys, so like I said, man, these Earth Cruisers are pretty, pretty, pretty cool. So, give you a little pan around. This one, the one that I drove, um, this is a uh, V8 gas. Pretty sweet. But the other cool thing when I was talking to these guys is when they deliver them, they spend three days with you. So they take you out in your new Earth Cruiser and show you how everything works, show you how to winch, um, pretty much anything that you would need to know. It's based on your level. So if you're someone that's been overlanding for years, then obviously it'd be tailored a little different. But if you're someone that's new and you're gonna be buying one of these and wanting to get out, you know, they can teach you from start to finish how everything works and you know what to expect you know, they, they cook you dinner while you're out there and just really just go over everything so they're not just turning over something that you know <laughs> you have no clue how to use it so but pretty stout atlas transmission pretty beefy transfer case Dana 80s. I mean, this thing's uh, definitely equipped. Blockers front and rear. I mean, it's it's super nice. Um, all fold out stuff. I don't know if this door's open or not. So. Back so here. This one has pretty much everything that uh, that the other one had. So this is your your shower here. Uh, in here you have a toilet, which is really cool. And then in here you have the bed and sitting area. Uh, the roof on this one's down. That's why I'm having to kind of crouch a little bit. But sink. All your control panels are all in here. Microwave, the whole nine yards. So, definitely really cool. Definitely really cool. But, all right guys, well, I am gonna get back to the expo and look for some stuff. I had uh, my panel for the, uh, my solar I broke on the panels so now I'm only getting half of what I had so uh, you know luckily it's still more than what the fridge puts out so I'm not gonna be really using any power so anyways 
they are going to go to the uh, Expo West, which is out in uh, Colorado. So if you get a chance, look at them over there. Check that out. And they might be coming out to East, out in Virginia. So check them out. I have some test drives and take it around and have a good time. But guys, let's get back to the expo. See ya. Thunderbox. How's it going, man? What's going on guys? So man, day one was pretty epic. Got to uh, drive that that Earth Cruiser, hung out with those guys for a little bit, and then uh, I ran into a couple of YouTubers out here. I'm gonna follow up with them tomorrow and uh, get some more stuff. Um, still trying to find a, a panel. So I can't, uh, uh, a solar panel because I, I I broke one of the solar panels and and I'm only getting half of my hundred watt so I'm trying to find one to buy and I went to two other places and they don't have any any inventory they want you to order online which is defeats the whole purpose so anyways we're going to uh, just chill out for the rest of the day um, maybe make something to eat later and then probably go to bed early tonight because. Let me tell you, I'm, I'm beat, so see you on day two. Good morning, guys. Welcome to day two. So uh, today's been a, already a busy morning, just kind of hanging out and running into people and just talking, talking. So <laughs> I haven't even made it into Expo yet. So uh, just want to show you around camp real quick, uh, show you what you're looking for, or we're looking at when you come to one of these. But today's gonna be pretty exciting. I'm gonna be uh, talking to a few fellow YouTubers and also uh, some things that I'm buying. Talk to them too, so. But take a look at where we're at. Kind of gives you an idea. So this is the standard camping. Um, it's about how much room you have. It's kind of float in here with different campers and rigs and you know vans and I mean, you know it you name it they're they're here so but this kind of just gives you an idea now if you go to the premium uh you do have a little bit more room they're kind of like more mapped out but i'm fine with this i don't have any neighbors <laughs> it actually worked out really nice but but yeah so that's about it so it's not bad like i said you got plenty of room got the awning out I did have someone next to me, but I had plenty of room for the awning, so. But guys, uh, we're going to get back in here, like I said, and start saying hey to everybody and do some interviews. It's going to be a great day. Great day. It's probably going to be a hot day, but it's going to be a great day. Yesterday was, was pretty hot. So, Riley and Hannah are coming. They're gonna be hanging out for a little bit. So, they're actually bringing me a coffee, which is the world, the world. I love my coffee. So, 
Let me get some scout campers over here too. Trailers. This one's super nice. Expedition 2.0. Yeah. So it's a little taste of everything, which is nice. I'm gonna do a walk around probably later today or maybe tomorrow and uh, go from there. So stay tuned. It's gonna be a fun day. Let's get in there. I actually like it. Yeah, I it's mean, pretty good, right? Yeah, it is pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a little bit like on the. Um, I can't think. What's that one? Fireball. What's going on guys? So look who I ran into over here. Kevin with Lifestyle Overland and we got the, the little one over here and of course Mama Bear. Uh -huh. um, but uh, man, it's awesome to finally meet you. You too, man. You know, I follow all your journeys and I love the family thing. I love the family time. It really just ties into what I do and my beliefs and my family and stuff like that. So I always enjoy watching you guys. Oh, it's we appreciate it. really cool to run into you guys. So how are you liking it out here in Oregon? This has been incredible. This is a great venue. We're so glad that we finally made it up here. So this is our first time and yeah, it's been mind blowing. That's awesome. Man. Yeah. Well, good. Take it easy. All right. Look forward to seeing you guys on the trail one day and uh, see you then. Guys, check them out. If you don't know who they are, this is Kevin. And of course the little one and mama bear back there. Uh, Lifestyle Overland. You can find them on uh, everywhere. But uh, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, they're always doing some cool stuff, cool journeys. So if you don't know them, get on there and check them out. So let's go on to the next. Man, talk about lifesavers. <sighs> Look at this. Delivery. Oh Riley here, and man. Hannah, <laughs> you guys are awesome. Yeah, man. Anytime. So I got, to, I got to go out the other day. Uh, the video will come out probably before this one. Uh, we went to Curtin Lake. It was epic. Dude. Absolutely epic. Beautiful. Yes, yeah. it's so blue. I, I, I showed, I was showing some pictures. They're like, "What did you use to to to, to change the the photograph to edit?" <laughs> like, edit the color? And I was like, "I didn't nothing. edit nothing. It's, it's raw. Just nothing. Just light and they're like, "What?" I said, "Oh yeah, you got to go. You got to go. Two hours from here. Yeah. No excuse." <laughs> well, guys, we're gonna go around and uh, scope some more stuff out. Let's see if I can spend some more money. Well. Sorry, if my wife watching this, I didn't spend any money, Zero baby. Money. Zero money. Zero money was Steve spent. His coffee and everything else. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, guys? I am here with my friends over here at the Thunderbox. If you guys don't know what the Thunderbox is, I highly suggest you check it out, um, especially if you need that uh, a little that need in the woods and you don't want to dig a hole. So uh, I'm here with Aaron. Aaron. I'm bad with names. You know that. And. We got him here and he's gonna show us what this Thunderbox is all about. I just bought one yesterday and I can't wait to uh, to use it with a view, you know? So, um, Aaron, tell us, tell us what it's about. Like, what's okay. it about? So this is the Thunderbox. This is the case it comes in. It's a little Keshen bag. Folds in down to be about an inch thick. So that's, that's uh, the advantage for vehicle-based camping, right? Space is always a premium in a car. Inch thick, 16 inches tall. There's an accordion hinge there, so you just open it up like that. Throw in your wasteliner bag. We sell biodegradable uh, vegetable-based plastic that can be buried. Aftermarket bags that are designed to be packed out, like Double Duty Plus, fit in it as well. So if you're in a campground or a national park or somewhere where you have to pack out, there's other aftermarket bags uh, that will fit. It depends on where you are in the, your camping situation. Nice. Once you throw the bag in, like as you can see, this one ha has one in it, just like lining a garbage can, closing the lid, locks the bag in place. There's one latch right here to lock the toilet in place. One simple latch. It just keeps it from collapsing. Mm -hmm. Do your business. When you're not using it, close the lid, 
keeps the smell out, keeps the bugs out. It's all 100% made in Australia with Australian parts and labor. So it's galvanized steel and MDF. Uh, again, all from Australia. 16 inches high, um, I think I already said that, which is the same height as a standard toilet. Nice. So um, it'll feel natural when you go to use it. A lot of the other aftermarket toilets are, are shorter. Yeah. Um, and the hole is actually a little bit larger than a standard toilet. Nice. Um, we weight rated it uh, by stacking bricks on it and we ran out of bricks at 500 pounds. Wow. So, 500, it's guaranteed to 500 pounds and we have a five year warranty on it. Five year warranty. Five year warranty. Yeah, man. Well guys, I'm gonna tell you, I, I bought one. I had a friend that actually uh, showed me showed me his, and I, I, I was like, damn, you know, I'm, I'm not a small dude. So let me tell you something. So when you sit down on this thing, so it's big man approved, 100%. It works. It's sturdy. You don't have to worry about uh, you know falling falling down in your poo. Uh, so, well, how can they find you? We are online, ThunderboxUSA.com. Okay. Uh huh. So we'll be at all Overland Expo shows this year. And uh, so you can find us at a show or order from us online. Awesome, man. Well, guys, you heard it. Check them out. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Take it easy. You, you guys too. have a good day. So, you know, I, I see my guys everywhere, man. Like, you know, everywhere, literally. You know, out here in Oregon. This is great. This is, this is a little hot today and yesterday, but, but it's great. How you guys doing, man? Yeah? So, just like I say all the time, what new do you guys have? What, what new stuff do you have? What do you guys, what are you guys show me today? Have you seen the grill? Yes, I saw that one. You seen the tool roll? Tool roll, no, this is new. So, so here's the tool roll. So it starts out, you've got... I'm here to buy... It starts out with all these pockets like this. Oh, look at that. All on Velcro, so you can take them out. All on Velcro. You know me? Or say you just want to take you know, the sub wrenches with you. Uh-huh. So you got the built-in zipper pocket, the second zipper pocket. A little wrench roll. Nice. Pockets here, so you can hold like a drill that index. And then we've also set it up just like this. And we're thinking Capkin should use a camp kitchen too, so these fit spices. You're welcome. That could be your utensils. Your receipts are pretty good. Your receipts are pretty you can rearrange it and mm -hmm. set up wherever you want. Thanks, man. Let's check this guy out. Okay. Peace out. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Love the zippers, man. Zippers are nice and yeah, robust. The grommets like that to hang it there. We even did grommets on controls. So oh, look at that. That's, we're kind of thinking other ways people may use it and kind of have it all set up for it. And you notice that these guys all have a little Velcro panel. So mm -hmm. if you want to put identifiers, you get the wrenches. That is really cool. Pliers are really nice. And then even the whole roll itself has one on the outside. So if you had multiple, you could label them. Nice. Whatever you got. I'll tell you what, guys. Like, they're just coming out with stuff all the time. So now, I'm probably gonna have to buy this now. I really like it, and I like the other one that I've been using consistently. So, um, I have another one by another brand, but I, I've been having problems with it. So, I think we're gonna replace it with this one. So, we'll see. But uh, again, guys, your chance to find tools.com, and if you use my link, uh, you save a little bit of money and uh, you help a brother out. So, use the link. See ya. But I was excited about it. So I love the videos on the beach when it's raining. And then you're cooking. Who wants a taco with one shrimp? Oh, yeah. <laughs> an avocado. An avocado and an onion. Uh, can't refuse. Wow. Heck yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Marco did it again, man. Like, crazy. Wow. Insane. <laughs> Appreciate you. Thank you very much. Hey, Marco. Wow. He's not.
what's going on guys so we are hanging with some crew over here we got marco on the grill of course and uh we got marco over here and then we got another marco his kid which is awesome so we got three marcos um we got aaron we got michael's here bud right is it bud nixon right bud nixon we got a full house so we're gonna be cooking up some good grub and uh i can't thank him enough this is uh this is pretty cool but let's go over here and say hey to everybody so this baja overland pretty awesome setup here And I really like this one over here. This one's really, really cool. Smart cab on top, so Jason, I know you're gonna like that one. And then we got the ginger over here from Epic. You know, he's he's hanging out. He's uh he's sleeping in style over here. So he has him a little, uh... yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know if I could do that one. That one's, uh, that one's a little tight, a little tight, but check this out. And back with leather on the large side. This is my big saddle. This is my... Oh, that's right. Cooking some clams, some wine. Man, so looks like we're gonna be eating good tonight, guys. Amazing, amazing. But it's awesome. Yeah. I know you like I was living at with some of my Well, I had the with the Rubicon. I re, I did the but that wow. Wow. That drunken clam. Super freaking good. Super good. I don't know if they make them anymore with the new one. They do. It just gets I'd love to be able to like my dad. Wow. Well, for no reason. And we got Marco over here. He's cooking. Crazy. Crazy. Go through motel space. Do this guy over here. I kind of really own it. I wanted the three point eight. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. So Marco, what do we have over here, bud? We're little uh, skirt steak uh, with chile. Uh -huh. Simple taco, and uh, it's really tasty. It smells, it smells delicious. Like, I wish you guys smell what's going on in here. We got clams over here, which were, it's all right. Oh my God. And then Marco is this or we're doing anything else on it? It is insane. Huh? Yeah, it is or there's anything else for it? That's, that's it. I don't know. Maybe that's you're the like last, that's <laughs> the last thing. <laughs> Initial something. Initial something is necessary. Yeah. But it's going to be some uh, some good eats tonight, guys. What do you guys think? Good eats? Good? Good? What you think? Oh, wow. And so good? at that point it was yeah. always Okay, that's Amazing. five, and you still want to transmit. All right, guys, well, I'm going to get to eating a little bit because I'm hungry, and this food is just too good to go to waste, so take it easy. What's going on, guys? So this is the last day of the expo. Last night was awesome. I was hanging out with Marco from Baja Overland, Marco from Overland X, and the ginger itself over here last night from epic and we had a few more people here and it was just a, a great time hanging out with some great people um, had two different dishes going on it was pretty cool um, can't say thank you enough to everybody for your hospitality I, uh, I moved the gladiator over here next to everybody so it was just easier so when I went to bed it's over here um, just right here so 
So today, like I said, is the last day. We're gonna go in here and um, talk to a few more people. And I might buy maybe a couple more things. I did buy a few things from Defiance Tools, of course. You know, I have to do that. I got me one of those cool knives. I'll show you guys in another uh, episode. But I got some more stuff I wanna buy. I still wanna buy a solar panel. I'm pretty upset that nobody has any for sale. But it is what it is, I guess. Nobody wants to carry inventory. But kudos to the people out here that actually bring stuff to these events to actually sell. That's awesome. That's what this is meant for, I think. But maybe I'm wrong. It's just my opinion. But got a nice little shower, ready to go. Start the day. We had a, we had a good breakfast this morning. And that's it. So guys, enjoy. Uh, it's been a fun time. It's been a fun time. So my wife flies in today. So I can't wait. I'm gonna leave here. I'm going straight up to Portland. And I'm gonna surprise her when she gets in. So it's gonna be fun. So appreciate it guys and uh, stick around. What's going on guys? So what better way to wake up next to a ginger? I, that's what I tell my wife every day. <laughs> and we had a hell of a night. Yeah, we did. Good food, good Great people. Food. Great food. Rum. Rum, yes. Yeah. That, that rum, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to look into the yeah, rum. It's pretty good. It's, it's, it's an enjoyment just to open the bottle. <laughs> so, if you guys don't know who this is, then you definitely been living under a rock, especially if you're in the Jeep world. Where whereabouts exactly are you at? Epic Adventure Outfitters out in just outside Vancouver, BC, Canada. BC, Canada. So Where we're building cool, fast shit with lots of horsepower. Lots of cool shit. And some actual overlanding rigs too. A couple. Yeah, a couple. So, get a chance. Definitely check them out. It was really cool hanging out and uh, look forward to hanging out again, man. Oh, we'll definitely hang out again. Cool. I'll All get right, in Florida. Take it easy, brother. Later. What's going on, guys? So we're getting out of here. Marco's getting all loaded up. I just wanted to say one more time, man. Thank you so much. Brother. Dude, right. his food was amazing. I got to finally taste it. Holy crap. Thank Wish you. you were here because trust me, it was worth it. Thank you so um, much, man. And thank you for, man, everything. I loved hanging out. And it was great. I look forward to uh, be the last some, one, man. Some, some futures, man. Yes, absolutely. So, man, you guys, Safe take travels, it man. easy. Safe travels. Okay. Damn. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I've seen these go across the, the you know the auction at Meekum. Those are and trailing dirt. axle cars. This is true six wheel drive. With long travel suspension on all three axles. Last year? Was that? Oh, yeah, I know. I always feel weird just taking things. <laughs> That's why I put them out. Hey, if you're walking around with your beer and my name on it, I'm happy. How are you doing? Good, man. How are you? Good. Marco, did you have a good time? Man, I had a blast to meet these great people. It's just been amazing. Yeah. Amazing, bro. I look forward to linking up in the future, man. Right? Of course, man. I think it's going to be great. Yeah, we're going to go to Cheap Beach. Yeah, yeah, we're going to do it. Yeah, so uh, Marco lives in San Diego, right? Yes. And uh, he's going to come down to Jeep Beach. So he's going to come in my neck of woods. Baja Overland will be in Jeep Beach. So be prepared, be prepared for that for next year. We're gonna stay in contact, but I think uh, before that we're kind of try to hang out, maybe at least once. Yeah. And 
I'm gonna go from there. It was a great show, though. Yeah, I had man. a great time, man. Great time, bro. You guys, hope you guys enjoyed everything. It was a great show, like I said. Um, I'm off to uh, pick the wife up. I'm gonna surprise her over at the hotel, and then we're gonna we're gonna hit the coast. So stay tuned for that. It's gonna be fun. Appreciate everybody. It was great meeting everybody. Marco, Marco, and Marco, uh, and the ginger, and uh, Mike, and Bud. I mean, it, it's it was a it was a great time. Appreciate everybody coming up and follows the channel and uh, meet new people. So, guys, until next time, enjoy your adventure. See ya. So that one worked a little better. That it took a bit still. Like, we tried mine. Wouldn't now work. We get a new battery. Yeah. I hate these batteries. We tried my jump start and it wouldn't work. I, it was just too dead. So we tried, did the big one. Got the big one over there.